Right, we're on. Today we're going to give the golf swing a retune. We're going to take things back to basics, if you like, just for a winter programme. I say winter programme, it's something for you to think about if you are now in a position that your season's over, which most people are. Season has finished and you want to get into a routine or some sort of winter practice that's going to ensure you're ready for the start of next season. I know that's a long way away, but let's think about what you've done in the past, all this season. Has it been good? Has it not been good? Take it back. Strip the swing back, keep it really simple. We're going to use these letters here, L and Y, and that is going to bring things back for this little retune of your golf swing. handicap down or handicap staying level or handicap's gone up, whatever situation you find yourself in, it's good to take the golf swing and think, let's go back to where we started from. Is there a couple of things I can do that get my swing back on track? Just a nice good leveler to start your winter practice with. A little leveler like this is really important, it's just going to break down the swing, it's going to make sure we get into two good positions that for every golf swing, whether you're in wedge or driver, is going to be advantageous to the player. Advantageous to the player, he says, that sounds good. Let's hit one. Right, two positions you've got to note The letters that you saw on the board earlier on was L and Y. Now we know about L shape, L shape. We do a lot of this with beginners coaching and junior coaching. At all levels of coaching to be honest. There's two levers in the golf swing. One's a left arm, one's a club shaft with a hinge in the middle. Lever, lever, hinge. We take the club back to an L shape. We then come through and hit golf ball. And then the right arm creates the bottom part of the L shape. So an inverted L, that's an L. That's an L. Okay, that's leverage in the golf swing. The last thing we want is three levers. One, two levers. One, two, three levers. That's not a good thing. Three levers is a lack of power. You get to the top of your swing, there's nothing really wanting to give back. There's no leverage to hold on to, if you like. We've really just got to the top. Any stored power there is no longer stored, and then we just throw the right arm away, the left arm away. So we run out of right arm, it gets pretty messy, try and keep the left arm straight. It doesn't have to be solidly wooden straight, but it has to be stretched into some sort of position. So left arm straight creates the L shape. When we try and get from this left arm straight L shape into right arm straight L shape, we can flip the club pretty quickly. So from the leverage on the backswing, left arm being straight and club shaft, into right arm straight club shaft, that can get a little bit flicky an impact, we can lose the ball left there, we can't control low point, we can hit a lot of heavy and thin shots. So there's a progression from L shape to L shape that we'll have to go through, which is where the letter Y comes into place. But when I play a golf shot and I come into impact, my right arm is still flexed. Into impact there, my right arm's not straight, it's still flexed. So I've gone from L shape down to impact, and then from there I want to continue through to the Y. Now the Y is two straight arms and the club shaft. Two straight arms and the club shaft create the Y shape. Now that Y shape has to be post impact, it has to be after impact in here, not at impact because then the club head's going to pass the hands and we're going to get that flick. Now we have to get, so we have to get from L to Y, there's Y towards camera now, then up to L following through with the right arm. So L shape, Coming down, right arm still flexed impact. As right arm straightens, both arms straighten until the club's about a yard, yard and a half past the golf ball, or where the ball was, and they went L shape there. Sorry, Y shape there. You can see the Y between two arms and club shaft. So we go up to the top of our swing, or we take it back to L shape, we come through to Y to produce the second L. L, Y, L. That's breaking down the golf swing. That L, Sorry, that Y is really important, that removes your chicken wing as well. If you've got this going on with the left arm, that action going on with the left arm, one, two, three levers, that's not good. If we get to the 
the Y shape, the left arm then educates itself to fold correctly because from there it's hard to chicken because the momentum's pulling you, centripetal force pulling you away from there. So that's going to then fold. So getting into the Y shape does lots of good things. So L, Y, L, that's the focus today. Oh my God, it's freezing. <laughs> so L, Y, L, L shape, Y, throw the club away. There, two straight arms. Impact bag. Impact back there with the L shape, impact, two straight arms. If I put my impact bag further forward, I take my dress position here, I want to get to the Y position as I hit the impact bag. I'm just going to skip the top of the impact bag here. In fact, if I put it up the way, I might catch a bit more. So dress position, impact bag's a yard past the ball. L shape, down to impact, Y. If I go from L to L, I flick, miss the bag, not good, Y, L, Y, L, I'll move that, L, Y, L, Tommy Fleetwood. So that's taking your golf swing back, stripping it down a little bit, just making sure you've got an L, a Y and an L in there, and you'll be pretty good. Then of course there's pivot of the body, all sorts of bits and bobs come into play. But if we can get the L shape, the Y shape, then the L shape, then we're going to be good. I'm going to go L to Y. L to Y. It's good. Very good. It's hard to stop at Y, but I'm trying to reduce that. L, Y. L, Y. It's really good. If I rewind a little bit, you can see Y shapes in there. I had to extend that. That's Homer Kelly's um, golfing machine extensor action of the right arm. Right arm extends as we come in to get to Y. Right arm is flexed at impact. Then it straightens. That's extensor action, which pushes you into the Y position. Then it releases into that second inverted L Whew. L Y L Y oh that was lovely oh, we had the crack off that that was a good strike so I'm, I'm retuning the swing here L Y then I can add a little bit more speed let's go L to L but I must go through the Y position L Y L L, Y, L, L, Y, L, L, Y, L, L, Y, L. Okay, pretty good. Hard to do when you're speaking to yourself. Really good. Really good. There we go, so that's retuning your swing, that's just stripping it a little bit back to make sure you're, you're set up for your winter practice. It's a good way to, it's a good way to just strip the bare bones of it if you like. So you're, you're just, okay, there's things you're working on all year, absolutely. But take those two things, L, Y, L into consideration. Those three things, L, Y, L, L, Y, L. Get on the range, get hitting some balls, strip it back. Obviously working on your weight shift, your pivot, everything you've been working on all year. But if you've got those three things in place, everything else should hopefully link together. It's a much better way to bring ball striking back to where it should actually be. Practice all winter. Good luck. Thanks.